Welcome everyone to Data Advantage. We're going to be doing a partial and semi-partial correlation in Jamovi. And the rationale behind this type of analysis is if we're interested in finding to what extent a numerical association exists between two variables of interest. And however, we know that their correlation coefficient might give misleading results if there's another variable that is numerically related to, the, to those variables. And so with partial correlation, the, co the control variable is held constant for the two variables of interest. And I've opened up a built-in data set here in Jamovi. And to open this uh, data set, we go to menu and then open. And then in data library, we have four of these built-in data sets. To start off, let's go to regression then partial correlation. You can see partial correlation has already been selected. Let's slide in the variables. I'll slide in three. And then for the control variable, I'll slide in agreeableness. Let's close this window. And here we have our results. And we can see that the, the control variable is agreeableness and is held constant for all of the analyses here. For semi-partial correlation, we go down to um, correlation type and, and press semi-partial. So here in semi-partial correlation, we notice that the variation from the control variables is only removed from the variables in the columns. And so if the correlation is between extroversion and neuroticism, the control variable is constant only for extroversion. And so this is the main difference between partial correlation and uh, semi-partial correlation. It is important to note that multiple linear regression is a more standard method, and it also takes into consideration the confounders or covariates. Here in this example, we can see the importance of partial correlation because here two variables are correlated with each other on the whole, and they have produced a very high uh, correlation coefficient. Thus, we need to remember to block out various factors and remember that correlation does not equal causation. And no, people with PhDs in civil engineering did not consume more mozzarella cheese. Take your skills to the next level and subscribe.